Welcome to Old Iron Machine Works. In this video, um, it's going to be a little bit shorter video than what I've been putting out lately. Uh, but recently we had a little issue where we were losing some air uh, in the shop. And here's an old vintage Gardner Denver, which I rebuilt back in 2001. And anyway, I went ahead and pulled the valves out of it just because they haven't been out in so long. And on the first stage uh, discharge valve, I found an issue. So in this video, you'll see I will be building a new guard for the discharge valve out of just some old junk uh, guard that I've uh, had from uh, some other natural gas valves. Here I'm showing a two inch pipeline and the storage air tanks are clear back behind the back shop where it feeds underground through the pipe and then feeds all the way back to the main shop. Uh, I lost a valve in our shop air compressor. It's been many, many, many years since. But anyway, spring pocket wore all the way through. And this thing's hard as a rock, so rather than trying to weld it, I'm going to drop stuff around. Anyway, I'm going to take this one and make one of these out of fun little project. Now, on some of these old valves, on this particular Gardner Denver valve guard, it is extremely hard. Uh, unfortunately, the spring that was in the pocket running for 20 years was harder. You know, so that's why I decided to go ahead and take another old guard that you see here and basically just modify, machine and modify it to make it work. We could have, uh, you know, hunted one down and ordered it and waited for it. But more importantly, we're kind of, when we lose our shop air in our shop, you know, it kind of slows down a lot of production. So sometimes it's just easier to just build something and get it back up and running. So that's what I'm showing in this video. Uh, just building a new guard that uh, will work. Now it'll make more sense later in the video, but here I'm just making a custom guide ring that will center the inside valve ring um, in the valve. And like I say, you know, later in the video, it'll, uh, I'll make it a little bit clearer, but right here, I got the guide ring and then I got the valve ring. And now I'm gonna have to go and machine on that center guide ring so it has some passages for air to flow on both sides of the valve ring. Now the three tabs that separate the inner and outer valve ring, um, the tabs center the outside ring no problem, but it lets the uh, inside ring flop around too much and you can't really build the ear up because it would cover up the spring pocket. That's why I decided to make the guide ring in the center. And then here I'm just at the mill opening up some uh, you know, some passages so the air can uh, pass both on the inside and outside of the valve ring. Now, if I did not go and machine the areas on the inside guide ring, whenever the inside valve plate or valve ring would open, you know, the air would have to only go to one side of the uh, the valve ring. And then here's the, the ports where the air flows through. And the valve ring just basically covers up those ports. And then just uh, the pressure or vacuum just pushes the plate right off of the seat. Now here's just shown once the ring is off the seat, you know, it can flow on both sides of the valve rings. Now I machine that inner guide ring to where when the whole valve's bolted together, it's gonna sandwich that guide ring between both halves. But I decided to go ahead and pin it just for a little extra safety and then ground it flush. So when it's bolted together, it can't go anywhere. I had some new springs that were going to work great, 
unfortunately they really weren't long enough because this guard had some pretty uh, deep spring pockets so here I'm just machining some slugs that will get Loctite put on them and then uh, drove down into the uh, the spring pocket holes and in here I just got my little magnet to keep me from having to dig for the part uh, down in the lathe I should probably point out on the original guard, if it wasn't so hard, I probably would have just welded it up and remachined the pocket. Uh, but a lot of times when they get super hard, you know, welding it up, you take a chance of a little weld breaking off or something. And I did not want anything to ever break off and get into the cylinder. That would ruin your day. So every modification I'm doing on this valve um, is pretty much in a situation where it's pretty hard to have anything ever come off and get into the cylinder and these little plugs are 3 8 uh, thick so the only way that any of that could ever come apart is if the main bolt broke or came loose Here I got two of the slugs drove in, and uh, all six of them get slugs. And in this clip, uh, it's pretty much ready to go. All the six slugs are in, um, all six springs, ready to assemble. Now I'm using a different style spring um, on this setup. These are a cone shape. So the bottom part of the spring fits really tight down into the hole. Um, but basically when the spring is working up and down, it's not really rubbing the side of the guard. Here I'm just kind of showing where the air is going to flow, you know, any on the outside, you know, um, anyway, on both sides of the rings, um, inner and outer, is plenty of area for the air to flow by. And here the valve's assembled and ready to go. Okay, here I'm showing the valve cage, or some people may call it a chair. Um, anyway, it's the section of it that basically seats the valve down into the head. The end of the valve will have a copper washer, and then right here will have a center bolt that pushes tight and seals up against that copper gasket. And then I'll show uh, a little bit more on uh, right there. Basically, that big cap has four bolts that tighten up and seats on the gasket. And then the center stud pushes against the chair and uh, seats the gasket and then a little acorn nut uh, to seal off the, uh, the center bolt.
and it's now ready to go for uh, many more years. Anyway, I appreciate you checking out the video. Um, thumbs up or nice. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And appreciate you watching.